Welcome to the Global Author Podcast. I'm Matt Connor Whiteley, science fiction, fantasy, and a global author, bringing you publishing, writing, book marketing, and a global author ideas of your book to help you sell more books and write better books. For more information and your free global author training, please go to theglobalauthor.com. And here's the show. Hi everyone, and welcome to episode 67 of the Global Author Podcast with me, Con Whiteley. And today's episode is on the review of my August 2021 short story challenge. So this is an absolute brilliant episode that you can really learn a lot from. Because in August 2021, I did 30 short stories in 23 days. And that gave me so much product for my author business. And that will be released at some point for us. And the reason why this is useful to you is because we'll be going to like lots of the myths and why it's a good idea for you that you might want to do like this a challenge if yourself because I think this really can help you and your author business to do something like this. So today's episode I really do recommend it for you. So that's coming up in the content part of today's episode. And it's Friday the 1st of October 2021 as I record this. And I cannot believe that it's the 1st of October or whatever the year that was. So well, we're entering the last quarter of the year. So have you got all of your creative um, goals done like so far? Or do you really need to like, knuckle down in the other like in the last quarter? <laughs> and to be honest, I think that we all need to, to like knuckle down at some point. But before we move on to the content part of today's episode, I just want to give you a quick personal update for something really exciting happened. I was I was so happy that well, and I'll tell you about that like in a minute. Like just in like general, it's like what's been happening like this week is that I'm studying my psychology placement, which is sort of like I would say, I would say it's like a full time job, but I'm not simply because I'm doing it at home, and because the yes, and also there are like because the people at my university don't know how fast I work, they don't know how little time I'm actually spending it on it, but getting tons done that well done that so I'm really like glad about that and to be honest and like, even if they did know how fast I was working I don't think like they would mind because I would still be getting like, um, stuff done and they don't want to give me too much because of course that means uh, they're going to have to like, manage me a lot more which then uh, takes time away from their own stuff because of course supervising me is not their sole purpose and to be honest they've got lots of like, better stuff but I'm still getting like, quite a like, lot done there. Well, for example, I've had some like, Pope speed days, including this very funny thing uh, today, though, because uh, part of my university coursework for this year is that I also need to write a reflective log, and I need to write a like, the reflective thing about my like, work experience so I can like, reflect on what I'm learning, how could it be you know, improved, and like, how do I feel about stuff. And I've always intended to write this as a book because I'm thinking, because to be honest, my to be honest, my attitude is if I have to take time away from writing and do other people's stuff when it comes to writing, then I've got to get something out of it. So I'm thinking, right, okay, so I'll do this coursework, I'll do these reflections, but I'm gonna do it as a book, which the university would hard will yeah, would like would like heartily mind. But right, because I'm still gonna do like what they want me to do. And it's not graded, it's literally pass or fail. So I hardly mind. <laughs> Okay then. So I was writing the review of like my first week, and that came to two thousand words. And I got to the end, and I'm thinking, wow. For as long as this is going to help, a l- well, I don't know. I definitely think that this will definitely give us some people some tips. Uh, yeah, well, like some tips about their own placement, also known as like work experience. But I also think that right, this is a, this is going to be a proper book. This is going to be a real chunky book by the end. So I'm actually quite excited like, by that because at least it gives me another product for next year. So, well, that's the general thing. But I was so excited. And there's actually a reason why I've decided to do a short story topic by this week. Because in a short, over the past three weeks, well, four weeks now, I've been doing an uh, online course by Dean Wesley Smith, surprise, surprise, <laughs> about how to write a Pope House story. And Pope House is his short story magazine. Do wear this course, then if you write him a, a Pope House a short story, then now there's a chance that he might buy it. And amazingly, he did. He actually bought a short story. So I finally have sold a short story, which I think is absolutely amazing, though, because it's like a 3,000 word a short story. And yes, and that he's going to pay like six cent a word. So that's like $186 I've like calculated for two hours work. And that has really cemented the idea of a short story for me because I absolutely love them. And I think they're a great way to make money. And also, though, that short story will be coming back to me at some point, meaning that I can publish it indie and make even more money with it. So this is the great thing about intellectual property. And this is why you never sell short stories properly. 
I mean, yeah, but like, I, I mean, like you would transfer a copyright over to someone else that and you sell rights, you just don't do it. So I'm really, really pleased though, because the great thing about once you start selling short stories is that you can add it to your um, cover letter when you submit a, a short story to, story at someone and then like that's in yes and then like that means that you're a professional writer you're meaning that you're much more likely to get out of the slush pile which is where all of the um everyday writers are and all of the writers that to be honest are really really bad and i mean like, even by listening to this podcast joanna penn's podcast and everything you're already like miles ahead of like these other but like reading like slush pile i would never want to do simply because you're going to get some really terrible writers <laughs> okay um, so i'm really pleased about that and the reason why i'm telling you with it is one because i'm really pleased with it myself that i'm able to do it especially to pope house because it is such a hard market to sell to and secondly, I'm telling you this like to give you a bit of like hope and like for yourself over because if you keep submitting short stories to places, if you keep learning how to become a, a better writer, then it is possible for you to make money and to sell short stories. So yes, okay, right. So that's like something that you might want to bear in mind. So as always, I always like love to hear your thoughts and feelings on today's episode. And you can always email me, conwhitely at conwhitely.net. You can always leave a comment at the show notes at theglobalauthor.com forward slash podcast. And you can always tweet me on Twitter at theglobalauthor. I always love to hear from all of you. And today's episode has been sponsored by Bluehost. So uh, this is an absolutely amazing WordPress hosting a platform that I personally use and really like recommend it because it's very affordable at the time of recording and it really is easy to use so I really do recommend it because because all the writers are like need a professional website and Bluehost makes that a lot more possible so I cannot recommend Bluehost enough for your website website so that is Bluehost and if you want to use my affiliate link so I get a small percentage of the income and no extra cost to you then please check out theglobalauthor.com forward slash Bluehost. So let's move on to the content part of today's episode. So we're moving on to the content part of today's episode we're going to be talking about my August short story challenge of the 2021 20, uh, so I know that this is a bit later than August 2021 but I still wanted to uh, talk about it so this is going to be a, like, a really good episode that you're really going to find um, useful. So why did I want to do this challenge? <laughs> so in all honesty I don't actually remember why I actually wanted to start it but I do remember something about me being concerned about my writing time dropping from the end of September. So well, what I wanted to do was I wanted to write a lot and I wanted to make sure I had enough product to release over the next few months, like just in case I wasn't able to write as much as I used to and if I felt like um, I was concerned about my off income dropping and my readers weren't going to be satisfied with more content. But thankfully I did end up with more than enough a product because I managed to do 30 short stories in 23 days and then from this uh, I've also managed to create like collections and more like even some themed collections I'm starting to like get now. So there's a lot of like great products and like great content that I've been able to create and also during the month of August I also did like one and a half like novellas which this yeah which that second one has actually been done now. Benefits of doing my short story challenge so the entire point of today's episode is actually for me trying to encourage you to do it to, to do this sort of challenge because it is absolutely great and I had such a blast doing it. I got to do new genres, new characters. This <laughs> to be honest, it was just amazing and I actually loved it and I will definitely do this once twice a year, but like going forward just so I have the inventory. But I do want to look into some of these reasons why you might want to do it. The first reason why I really do you know in encourage you to do it is because it really does jump up your productivity and by the end of the challenge you'll have enough of 30 short stories and at least 6 collections to put up. So in total that's at least 36 ebook products and another 36 paperback products. That's great, There, yes, because that's 36 new doors into your author ecosystem where new readers can find you, love your work and hopefully buy a lot more books. Another reason is that it really kills writing myths. Now this wasn't a benefit to me personally because I've already cleared them out and yes, but you might find this useful because this challenge will kill critical voice and any silly myths around rewriting will like that you have there because if you don't overcome these critical voice problems then you will not write 30 short stories in 30 days simply because it will take you so long to write one short story. Also, where this challenge is actually great to find out what critical voice problems you have, so you can so where you could fail in the challenge, work on the critical voice, and then retry the challenge, and that's actually quite a good idea. 
creates new series, world building and more. So this is probably the main reason why I loved about this challenge because the short story challenge actually showed how massive my agent of the emperor universe is and it actually really increased it because I was able to go into the everyday lives of the people and examine other aspects of the universe that I haven't before and that was like great fun and that's when and that's when my Drake science fiction a private eye short stories like came in there because that was a bit more domesticated it was a bit more like you look at everyone's like everyday lives but it was absolutely brilliant and those um, sci-fi mystery short stories are absolutely brilliant. But it also got me to write about new characters because going back to my science fiction private eye stuff, Drake was absolutely a blast right because he's uh, brilliant. But these short stories also led me to create a very mysterious character called Sarah Abula. But that's a fake name. No one actually knows her name and no one actually knows what she does. Even me, even though I've sort of included her. Uh, even like as an odd mention or to be honest I really do recommend that you read the Drake science fiction five eye short stories because I think that they're quite good at sort of hinting at what this character is but you never exactly know what she is. Yes I mentioned her but in like four other short stories and then in my um, novella Return of the Ancient Ones she's mentioned towards at the end because yeah because, well, I don't want to like, spoil it, but uh, that's something great about these short story challenges, is that you can create new series, new worlds, and you can explore new stuff. Oh, but this is a great benefit that I absolutely loved. So I wrote myself into a corner, and I've sort of mentioned this on the podcast before, but I was writing more City of Assassins as short stories, because I really wanted to expand that world, but I wrote a short story, and I got to the end of it, and it was the validation, and the story was a finish. It stands, it is a perfect standalone short story, but the story implied something much bigger was going on, meaning I had to decide what I was going to do, because I couldn't write it as a short story, because the event was just way too big, so I ended up writing the City of Death novella, and now I'm going to be writing in that series for the rest of the year. Personally, I'm not quite sure if that's entirely true, but at the time, I did a plan to write the series in the next four months. I might still do that, but I don't know. Like, it depends on what my creative voice like wants. <laughs> but the entire point is that without the challenge, these a great event wouldn't have happened. Writing new genres. And this is probably my favourite thing about... No, actually. <laughs> yeah, but I've got so many like, favourite things that I will lie about this challenge, though. But a final thing, which I thought was absolutely great about this short story challenge, was I got to play in new genres that I wouldn't have necessarily wanted to, or I wouldn't have like pushed myself to do it in, in, like, if there wasn't a, a challenge. So I got to play in like, some new genres, because uh, generally speaking, I always tend to write science fiction and a fantasy, but I wanted to expand it. So I wrote some romance short stories, which I loved, after they were great twice and I feel like my pacing has like really improved and also like my dev because basically uh, romance there's absolutely no plot to romance it's, it's all a dev so that I'm really like pleased with and then I wrote some mystery short stories uh, granted they were science fiction private light short stories but they were still mysteries and they followed the structure very closely and again without this challenge I wouldn't have been able to explore these two new genres but there's a very important note that I want to mention here so um, it's really important that you actually do write across a genre because if you say that you're not going to write a short story because it's not your genre or you can't write that, now the time your abilities to write different types of stories will become smaller and smaller because do you believe you can only write a certain type of a story? So guess what? You will only be able to write that certain type of a story and basically you'll only be writing the same story over and over again. Conclusion. I cannot encourage you enough to do this a challenge for yourself because short stories are great write, but they're like a great fun to write and read. I absolutely love this challenge and I'm so pleased that I did it. And like as a writer for my creative side, but also for the business side. So all side though, like these short story challenges are absolutely brilliant for both of them. So I absolutely like, loved it. And hopefully from this side with you, you I can see that there are lots of uh, other benefits to doing it too. Do you though? So please have fun write lots and create more products because you never know where those stories will lead you. So I really hope that you enjoyed today's episode and I hope that you got something out of it. If you know someone who would um, find today's episode useful then please share it with them. I'm always really grateful when your wonderful people help spread the word about the podcast. And for your professional author website, please check out Bluehost. It's absolutely brilliant and I cannot recommend it enough. So if you want to use my affiliate link then please go to theglobalauthor.com forward slash Bluehost. So have a great day everyone and I'll see you next time. Thanks uh, for listening today. 
I hope you found it useful. For more information, please go to theglobalauthor.com. And if you want to connect, then please reach out to me on Twitter at The Global Author. And you can find me on Facebook. For your free and exclusive Global Author video training, please go to theglobalauthor.com forward slash free. Have a great day, everyone, and I'll see you next time.